y'all so why we wait on my mama i'm just gonna get into the video um because like i said i come to y'all to vent but we also come together to have real life conversations so in the video before this one i was talking about how um you know you be wanting to people tell you you can talk to them and you talk to them y'all have conversations um and you pretty much pour your heart out because sometimes you just need that relief like for me it's writing it's talking to y'all um i may call up one of my good home girls my good best friend you know and talk to them what i have discovered and learned over the past couple of the last month or so past couple of weeks last month or so is that the people that say they know me y'all be out here front end and i say that because like if people genuinely know me they know i'm i like have a kind heart like my intentions are never to be malicious to anybody um uh, hold on y'all so like i was saying i have learned that over the past month y'all people really don't know me um as you grow i can honestly say i have not changed much to the point of my personality where i have been through some stuff and one day i probably put it out there on youtube right now i'm not because because of a situ because of situations that's that's how i'm put it um but i have been through some stuff that really that most people go through it changed their whole outlook and their whole um perspective on people like they go from being this sweet person to this real mean person that they won't do nothing for nobody but themselves it's all about them y'all i have been talked about so bad these last couple of weeks and like what's crazy is the people that's doing it don't even know i did i know they're doing it they know now <laughs> but they don't even know and like it got to the point like i'm the type of person where i can tell when you feeling some type of way or when you got something like you can tell when somebody got something against you um and so I was able. Hold on, y'all know I always got some going on. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's it's trying to build a pimp right there. Anyway, but you know you can tell when somebody beefing with you and you ain't beefing with them. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I I think the people in my life I have them too spoiled. By that, I mean that if they call me and they need me, I'm there for them. But once I have my own agenda going on and I'm no longer at your beck and call, it becomes, oh, she's selfish or, oh, she this and that. Then my dirty laundry starts getting thrown everywhere. Like, my laundry may not be as dirty as Becky's. I don't know who Becky is, y'all. I'm just talking. Becky, if you ever see this, I don't really know you. I just use your name because, you know, Becky with the good hair. Okay, but yeah. So, my laundry may not be as dirty as Beyonce's, Jay-Z's, but I got my laundry. And if we, if I'm, you tell me I can vent to you, you're going to be that person I can talk to. I am the type. I have fallen out with people, so many people, so many women, so many men over the years and i have not aired their dirty laundry i have had some people to tell me some stuff that when we got into it i could have aired it out i could have in the world super lewis i could have aired you the out but i didn't <laughs> like i get that sometimes when you upset and you mad and you talking to your person, whoever you go to talk to. I get that. You know, and you may slip up and say something. 
But then that person gonna tell that person they talk to. And that person gonna tell that person, then boom, it come back to me eventually because everybody told everybody and everybody know what I got going on. I would literally give the people in my life any and everything they need if I got it. If I don't got it, I find a way to get it. Like I said, multiple people have told me I'm selfish. I've heard it multiple times. Um, and every time I hear, remember I told y'all in the last video, certain stuff, trigger stuff. That is a trigger for me. Like, it is just, it holds a trauma for me. Like, I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. When people start saying, oh, you selfish, you this, you that, and I'm hearing it coming back to me, you're saying it to me, and you saying it to other people, it triggers something. Like, it made me feel some type of way. And I be sitting back, like, yesterday, I was told I was selfish. And I had to sit back and look, and I was like, dang. But I, and I did, and I sacrificed this, and I gave this and went without I did this when I could have been doing this. But that's okay. Like, it's just one of them things. Like, y'all got to try to reach in my mouth too, by the way. If y'all seeing that red line. So, excuse when I'm being dramatic and y'all see it. But I was just like, okay. So, for me, over the last month and a half I have not had not a ounce of release when it comes to stuff that's going on in my life and me needing to talk not an ounce of it because my laundry is getting out and I'm the type when I'm comfortable with you I'm gonna be I'm a real deal talk to you like I'm gonna be real raw with you like I do. I have the hardest time. I'm very nonchalant. My mom will attest to that. Like, I'm a very nonchalant person. So, therefore, if I show you any type of emotions and I open up to you, that must mean something. That means I, one, trust you. Two, I'm expecting what I'm saying to you to stay between us. Three... If I'm talking to you and telling you and I'm leaning on you in my time of need because I have always had to be the strong friend. I'm the youngest friend. I am uh, the mama of the group when it comes to the friends. And just a whole bunch of different stuff that fall with it. Like, you know, it's... It's a lot of stuff that's been said to me because I don't have certain things in life or certain titles in life. If you catch my drift, you catch my drift, you know. Um, But it's just some stuff, certain stuff triggers stuff. So, recently I had to pull myself out of the situation. Y'all, what I do that for? Protecting my energy. Protecting me because... For the last two years, I decided I was going to be about Angel. It's very hard for me to do. Because in the process of me trying to do stuff for me and work stuff out for me, I still be focused on everybody else and what everybody else got going on and how everybody else feel about stuff and what everybody else need, what somebody asks of me. A whole bunch of different stuff, no matter what I got going on. I push my stuff to the back burner. Oh, excuse me. Handle everybody else's stuff. Like, prime example. I have this idea. I have a couple ideas lined up. And I was sitting at work. And I was doing something for somebody else. I was doing my job. Like, I had just finished all my work that I need to get done for that time. I was pretty much caught up. Just, like, downtime. And... I was working on something for somebody else. And all of a sudden I heard, it's time. And I'm like, dang. 
thing. I had put something that was supposed to be executed by my birthday all the way back on the back burner because I was helping other folks, doing other stuff, you know, all this different type of stuff. Granted, life got in the way, but I was still like at the point of having it done type situation. Um, and when it come down to it, realistically, when I sit here and talk to y'all and I'm thinking about stuff, it's just like, dang, you, you, don't nobody know me. Nobody has ever really tried to get to know me. And I've, I have people in my life that I've known them since diapers. I'm not going to say nobody knows me. Because I have a few people that literally know me. Like, they can call me and be like, hey, girl, what's up? And I'll be like, hey, you know, what's up? They automatically know something going on with me. They automatically, what's going on? Let's talk about it. Don't lie and say nothing. But I'm a strong friend. So, most of the time, when people call me, they call in the vent. They not calling mm-hmm. to hear me vent. When I say y'all, I don't have anybody that I can safely vent to. Well, I ain't going to say anybody. I don't have anybody I can safely vent to. Because no matter what I vent about or how I vent, it get out. So I'm saying all this to say, like, you got to be careful who you who you show your injury. Like, y'all, y'all let me know. Because what I've learned is people take advantage of you in your most vulnerable moments. If you ever realize, like, when me and my homegirls get together, we all talking and being, I am naturally laid back and chill. I don't do a lot of talking, like I told y'all, unless I'm hosting or unless it's like a group conversation going on. When other people are talking and they bend and they pouring out their hearts, I let them pour out their hearts. I don't say nothing unless they ask me for my opinion or they need comforting. Other than that, I'm not saying nothing. Because why I'm going to speak on your hurt and your truth when it's not mine? It's not going to leave that room for me. I'm not going to discuss it with nobody else unless you call me and we still discussing it. But why, why would I try to take your truth and make it make it why would I try to take you what you what you sharing with me and pull your dirty laundry take your dirty laundry and start showing everybody your stains and your rips and your and your bleach stains and how where you tried to clean stuff up that to me is just like a different type of hurt like I feel like if you feel some type of way about me or if you got something against me underhanded sneaky you feel some type of way about what i got going on in life and you say you there for me come to me because all i'm gonna do is come to you and when i come to you i'm gonna be real one about it what's up what's going on you can say nothing or we can go on and have a conversation and we can talk about what we need to talk about right then and there but I'm not going to beg you. One thing I don't do is I have stopped begging people to be there for me. I have stopped begging people to be a part of my life. Last time I begged the Negro to be a part of my life, it backfired tenfold for about two years. Story for another day. But it backfired on my book. Tenfold for about two years. So... No, I ain't going to beg you. I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to ask you. If you have an issue or a problem with somebody coming to you, talking to you, then don't, don't say you a shoulder to cry on. Because I cannot stand. I cannot stand this, y'all. Y'all, this is with a passion. When people be like, um... Yeah, I'm here for you if you need me. Call me to vent. You just want to know my business. So you can talk about my business. Because you ain't got nothing else to do.
Let me say it again. Don't tell me you a shoulder to cry on because you just want to know my business. So you can talk about my business because you ain't got nothing else to do. Get a hobby. Hello? Get a hobby. Because what you doing is you creating trust issues for that person. Now I can't trust you. Now, if we ain't talking about something that's overall general information for everybody, you're not going to know anything that's going on with me. And I'm an open book. If you ask me a question, I'm going to answer it. Whether I feel like it's your business or not. People come up to me all the time. I had somebody come up to me and be like, uh, prime example. Many people look at many guys look at me and they don't know that I'm a virgin. You can't look at nobody and tell if they're a virgin or not. Right? So, when I had this one guy to approach me, he was like, dang, I didn't know you was a virgin. How you know that? I didn't tell you that. Only a handful of people know that. So, how you know that? Somebody had went and told my business. I had just met this person. We was having a casual conversation, getting to know each other. And it was like, dang, bro, how you how you end up being a virgin for 27 years? I had to pause and put my phone my ear to the text message like, what? Let me read that again in your voice. How you know that? Oh, well, such and such such told me. I've been knowing that for a couple of years now. When I first saw you, I knew. What? So... We really didn't know each other. We knew of each other because we ran in the same circle. But you supposed to be, we supposed to be ace boom coons and my business has been spread out. Granted, I ain't embarrassed by being a virgin. I'm a freaking unicorn. I take pride in it. I wear it as a badge of honor. Because can't everybody say they didn't have me? Number one, I don't let I don't talk to everybody. Number two, everybody don't get that close to me. Number three, can't nobody say they had me. Can't nobody hold it over my head. You can run around loud, you want to <laughs> say, oh yeah, I'd had somebody do that. Oh yeah, I done been with her. Woo, woo. Why are you lying? Why are you lying? But it's just like when that when it came to me and I was told that I was a virgin and I hadn't told no I hadn't even told these people. But we all hung out in the same friend group. It was a couple of people. We all hung out, hang out in the same friend group for a couple of years. Like years we've been in the same friend group. We know the same people. So we finally started, you know, communicating and talking. You know, kicking and chilling and all this stuff. And they telling me that they know I'm I'm like, what the world? How you know? Okay. When a person, when I don't know somebody, and they can come up to me. Prime example. If I have a friend, they introduce me to their friend. And we all become friends together. If this new friend you done brought to me know about me. And I ain't told them about me. That's a problem. And you can say all day. Well, it can be, I can just be talking about you all the time. You can talk about me without telling my business. Like say for instance, my mom, she my friend. I'm going to use her example, she in the car. Yeah, Shell, she my friend, girl. Let me tell you, uh, you know. I love her to pieces. She a real sweet person. She down to earth. She'll give you her last woo woo woo, et cetera, et cetera. I done told you about Shell, but I ain't shared Shell's dirty laundry. And dirty laundry may be a term, maybe kind of derogatory to y'all, but dirty laundry is just like, I'm not sharing her secrets because what, what do you not want people to see when they come to your house? Your dirty laundry. You don't want them to see your dirty bathroom. You don't want them to see your dirty kitchen. You want them to see the clean parts of your house. 
people gonna always remember the negative about you always no matter how much good you do in the world I can attest to that I got somebody real 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 close to me every time something go on something pop off a little situation the first thing they bring up is what I did years ago that made them feel some type of way you still on it let it go so if you one of them people that be feeling some type of way about people and you like to talk I don't care who you talking to don't be nobody's shoulder to cry on bruh don't stop it because what's happening is you're telling other people or another person and that person business getting back to them they don't trust nobody now now they holding it in ain't got nobody to vent to they walking around depressed on edge and sometimes this stuff can cause people to be suicidal if they not strong enough I would rather you tell me you don't want to hear about it than to sit there and listen and then go tell everybody else. And please don't bash my name behind it. Please don't. Because one thing I have learned, I for I and a two for a tooth don't solve nothing. It just have a lot of bloodshed. But one thing about Angel Marie, I can hop back to that stage and pop right up in there with you. But I'm not the type of person I was not raised like that. Y'all, y'all catch what I'm putting down. I wasn't raised to be that person that because somebody stabbed me, I'm gonna stab them back. Nope. I'm gonna duck off and patch myself up. Pull myself out of the situation. Some battles aren't meant for you to fight. People always show their true colors. I'm telling you. And when they show them, you gotta go with them. If you think they green, they show you red, you go with that red. Don't try to keep them green. I've learned this lesson the hard way several times. Y'all, I have this real toxic habit of trying to see the good in everybody. It's real toxic. Because that person can literally have a sign on and say, see the Chucky. And I'm going to look at Chucky. And I'm going to try to see what part of the seed is good. They could be Michael Myers. And I'm going to be like, well, y'all, he liked this because, you know, he didn't have this in his life. All he needed is love. It's a toxic trait. I get that from honest. It's like a genetic thing. It just rolled through my veins. And I honest, I'm 27, so I'm not going to say that's going to change, but I'm more cautious of it. I'm definitely more cautious of Show for show. So I said all this to say that. Say this. I said all that to say this. You have to find outlets of venting. Like for me, like I told y'all, it's y'all and it's writing. Find ways to vent and let out to where it does not end in bloodshed for you or tears shed for you. I'm saying it because I just went through it. Going through. You have to get to the point. It's sad to say this, but the way the world is set up now, you have to have you. Until God come through and bless you with somebody who really got you. And I, I honestly hate to sit here and say that. Like I honestly do. And then sometimes, you know, you may just need to pull yourself out of the situation. Like I did. I disappear on people. I go MIA real quick. Real quick. Folks be looking for me. They'll hit me up. I respond. You call me, I'm an answer. But you ain't gonna see me. I ain't going to invite myself to no functions. I ain't going to. Now, if it's a group function and I've been knowing about it for a while, I'm going to come through. You think I'm quiet? Usually laid back. I'm going to be extra quiet. Like, it's just certain stuff triggers stuff. 
Y'all, if you if you know the real saying, you know the real saying, okay? But I'm PG in it, people. But certain stuff triggers stuff. Like it do. It, it really do. And I've honestly come to this conclusion that everybody not I I y'all been knowing this. I've been knowing this. I've said this before. Everybody not for you. I've had the conversation with y'all before about how my friends don't know how to be my friends. My friends suck. I think that's the title of that video. And still do. And I will squirrel with every last one of them to try to say different. And still do. I had somebody tell me that you can't. My grandma has always told me. I've said has is always telling me. My grandma has. My grandma did always tell me that you can't expect things from people because this one disappointment set in. When she first told me that I didn't understand it, I was going through a little situation. Through the situation, I started to understand I was expecting too much from that person. That's why I was getting hurt. Same thing with your friendships, with your bending buddy, with your shoulder. You can't expect them to be you. And that's and that's why I'm getting it through this whole through this whole little conversation we had. I've been expecting people to do me like I do them. Like I said, no matter what I got going on with a person, I ain't gonna air their laundry. They can get on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, little snappy chat, uh, and email everything. Text, call, phone, Skype, Uvu, FaceTime, Duo. Everybody I know tell all my business. I've had it happen. It recently happened. Well, it wasn't to everybody, but it recently happened that my personal business got out. And it has happened in the past. Ooh, and I had so much to say back that you done told me that I could have used ammo to pop, 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 shoot up the club, but I didn't. But I didn't. But I didn't. You got to be careful who you had on park car conversations with, y'all. You got to be careful. You have to be careful, especially if you're doing all the talking and the person that's in the park car with you not talking back and they just listening. Now, don't get me wrong, because I'm one of them people that we had park conversations and you talking to you, Vin, I'm going to let you talk and Vin. But I'm not going to air you out. But then you got those other quiet people that's listening. They're going to talk back to you, but they also going to tell the first person they get a chance to. I, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. It's just, it's just one of them things, y'all, that I need to get off my chest and say. You know? Sometimes you just need to let stuff flow and then it because I get told all the time I'm always in my feelings and I'm emotional yep and it is I'm very emotional I wear my heart on my sleeves so when I give so much to people and people in return backstab me sure do get in them feelings and I be in them deep overthink and sometimes, and I'm going to tell y'all, so when people tell you overthinking, you ain't overthinking. Sometimes that's your intuition telling you. That's your, I don't know why my eyebrow look like that, but whatever. That be your intuition telling you, letting you know, you ain't crazy. My intuition has told me so much stuff, and then when I go to the person, they be trying to play me like I'm dumb. Okay. That's what I tell people now. Oh, okay. You said no. Oh, okay. Then a couple of days or so later, a week or so later, it come out. Then I look at them and be like, but I thought when I asked you that, you said, hello. Oh, okay. Anyway, let me get off my soapbox. I love y'all. 
And I love y'all for always watching, always interacting. Y'all tell me y'all stories down below. Don't forget the link in my description box. Um, the Google Docs. Go in there. Y'all send me y'all embarrassing stories so we can do story times. Get those back up and popping. Um, I got some embarrassing stories. I'm going to write down. I'm going to share with y'all. I got to go buy me some more popcorn because I only got one bag left. But I got some bomb pops on deck. Ah. Um, so, y'all do that. Link down in the description bar. Make sure you click it. Send me an embarrassing story so I can share it. Um, tell it here on YouTube for you. Uh, and we can laugh together. Okay? I'm not going to laugh at you. I'm going to laugh with you. So, we can laugh together. I had that conversation and laugh together real quick. Um, uh, and eat bomb pops and popcorn or whatever snack you choose. Snack in the story. Uh, not only that... What else is in the description bar? Social medias. Y'all follow me on my social media so we can communicate. And y'all don't forget to interact with me in the comment section. Let me know how y'all feel about what I just talked about. Because I just talked about a lot. And it's real raw uncut. Like, real raw. Real uncut. So y'all let me know down in the comment section how y'all feel. Click that link in the description bar. Let me tell y'all embarrassing story. Um, And with all that being said, I love y'all for watching. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned to the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. But most importantly, share this video with your auntie, your mama, your daddy, your cousin twice removed on your pappy's side and his grandmama and his granddad and his sister brother. They got moved twice because you know it was a family secret. They got out. Make sure you tell all them, okay? I love y'all for watching. Thank y'all for watching and remember to stay true to you. Peace.